Hey guys, how you doing? Thanks for joining us. This is a Sunday afternoon in Stroud and it's bitterly cold in the studio. You can see I'm wrapped up, but this is the start of the working week here at Suarez HQ. So we thought we'd give you a little insight into what goes on here. <laughs> and I'm about to get changed and go do some painting and start on some people's commissions. Uh, first bit is I've got to get the lights on. Well, I've just done that, so lights on inside the pod. Here you are down the side of this incredible long, you could see behind me, this is where all the painting's done, and it's a specially made room that I, I can keep closed to deal with all the vapors and extract them successfully. So um, we're gonna get the extractor on in just a moment. There we go, look. So you, re <laughs> it's real behind the scenes stuff. In fact, Let's get that on now. Probably won't be able to hear very much, but let's let's go back this way. We're now going to go in. I'm desperately trying to get some uh, heat into the place. Woo! Made it. <laughs> yeah, check it out. We've got some heat. Awesome. Today, I'm going to be working on this, which is a client's commission. Uh, so we'll see if we record that and speed it up for you and see what's going on. So uh, I'll see you back in a little while. Here's the other thing, I've just pulled out the spin table as well because I've, I've also got another client's painting to work on. So look at that bad boy, I'm gonna plug that in and get that rotating. I don't need to fly any paint off the sides. This is purely gonna be something to rotate around because I need to get some circles. Success. <laughs> Two and a half hours now painting. Uh, no idea what time it is now, but it's late. I could probably do with a coffee, but I've still got a few jobs left to do. So um, yeah, now as, as the sun is starting to go down and it's starting to get late here at the studio, I think it might be time, yes, it's all very dark uh, to think about going home. Uh, so I think that's what we'll probably do next. Anyway, look, uh, that is officially day one. Of, our, of the working week, because I do tend to work a lot of Sundays. But anyway, uh, let's see what tomorrow brings. Right guys, so here we are on Monday. We've already feel like we've done a day's work of, worth of work already. Now, just before I get going, I just want to tell you something. We've just had a delivery, actually, some, uh, some plastic. Now, whilst plastic may not look the most exciting thing in the world, I just want to show you this because it's very significant. Now, we've been working on a project for what, two years now? Mm -hmm. For about two years, I mean totally groundbreaking. There's nothing like it anywhere, I promise you about that. Uh, so please do stay tuned to the channel because this year we've got some massively exciting things happening. And uh, these are going to form some moulds and we're going to be uh, casting um, some materials, I can't tell you what, inside these moulds. But me and AD spent the best part of Thursday and Friday figuring out what size these moulds need to be and, if you can see here, how to actually get them to join together. So you can see now we came up with this amazing system on actually how to make these molds reusable and so that we've got the correct internal dimensions for what we're doing. So there's been a lot of thought process going to this. This man's been using all his brain capacity and lots of sheets of paper and a slide rule trying to figure out what's going on. And a big shout out to Direct Plastics who have uh, cut all this for us uh, accurately. So we're going to uh, spend some time assembling these now and making up four moulds for something that is really, truly groundbreaking, and I kid you not. We've had to bring a lot of things into here because of space constraints, but hopefully we'll have a tidy up the rest of the day.
So we've just spent the last hour and a half, I think, uh, stretching up one of the big paintings that I did on live stream probably six, seven weeks ago now. And the light's really, the light's not really good in here and we don't have the best of fluorescent lights in the back. So I'm now gonna grab this light and we're gonna put some light on it and well, let's see what it looks like, shall we? Here we go, we've finally got it lit up and can I just show you this? How incredible does that look? So we've got this lit as you can see, man, because the light's fading a little bit in here, but wow. I'll put the light on an angle just, you know, if I go with you, just so you can see some of these incredible layers of texture and paint. I mean, it's, it's just everything I absolutely love about doing this. Now, as you can see the light bouncing off it, some of those phenomenal textures. I'll just show you how huge that is. Gorgeous. And we painted that during one of the live streams. I'll pop a link to it. Uh, just above so you can go check it out and see exactly how this was created so that's another one of the multitude of things that we've done today so let's just have a little wander around uh, the corner look at what we're, we're trying to do something now with uh, with sub frequency waves so we've got a, a subwoofer from stereo system and uh, an amplifier which is just having a look at now is to be able to connect it up going to be doing something with sub frequency waves isn't that uh, isn't that something to behold? <laughs> because, yeah, well, we shall see, yeah. Because we want to, we, we want to see exactly what happens, uh, you know, when we, uh, when we put a uh, canvas right next to a very, an ultra low frequency uh, sound and uh, see, see what happens. So I think now, so now we've got the, the hard work out of the way. Now it's time to have a little bit of fun with some of the experimental stuff. Now, before we press on and finish off for the day, I, I just, just gonna have a look at what I painted yesterday. It's had 24 hours so far to do its drying. Yeah, just about 24 hours. <laughs> Oh yes, now I haven't been in here since yesterday, so I wanted to see how we're getting on. But I gotta say, that's looking pretty pretty stunning. Now this is being done for a client uh, to a particular brief, uh, in so much as gold was the important thing and starbursts and multicolored explosions and that kind of thing. So that looking pretty sensational. I'm very, very happy with that. So that was yesterday. He's also did this little round one as well. Textures are gorgeous. All this like melting effect. Again, this is for for a commission for a client. This is officially very exciting. aidy has got the sub set up and we've got the lead all the way into the back. A little bit of reverse engineering now. And the use of two cardboard boxes and some timber. Uh, we've got a canvas sat atop the subwoofer. We're gonna switch that on very shortly, but we need to put something on the top. Oh, some for the cleaner. <laughs> yes, mate, come on. Right, experiment two. Now we've built the blocks up. Let's see what happens now. Okay, you ready, buddy? I've built the port. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. They're going everywhere. What? <laughs> yeah. Now I'm sure the physicists amongst you are going to know what this is going to do straight away. Right guys, here we are on, I almost forget what day of the week it is. It's a Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday at Suarez HQ. We've got a photographer coming today to do some press shots for a magazine. 
So he's chewing about an hour and a half. So it's, it's kind of like bedlam stations at the moment but because we're just trying to tidy the gallery up because we've been doing a lot of work in there. So that's the first thing for the day. And now look what's behind me, two enormous long galvanized poles, six and a half meters long. <laughs> now we've got a project that we're doing with these, but for now we've got to try and get them up the stairs. Nah, just, it's just too long, mate. I mean, I could go a little bit more, but I just don't think I can do it enough. No. Yeah, I know, and I can't. That's where I need to turn, is there. Can't do it up the back stairs, because never, that'll never turn. Or would it? Hang on, let's go back a minute. We've got a hole in the wall, mate. Would it go all the way up, sufficiently enough, all up, up the stairs? Well, let me ask this anyway. Means that you're Work is never done, is it, mate? Never done. <laughs> never done. If that isn't an, an advert for Good Housekeeping magazine, I don't know what is. <laughs> One, two, three, three. <laughs> Careful, we will get copyrighted. Yeah, copyright. <laughs> you'll have you'll, you'll have the whole internet wanting to, you to come round and do their their wooden floors for them. Who wants to talk about art? We should talk about doing floors, mate. Yeah. Do a channel just about. How to preserve your floors and clean them. I reckon, I reckon that'd be a right hit. Well, in the nick of time, just before the photographer arrives, we've managed to finish the tidying up and clear up. So got rid of all the canvases that were on the floor. Aidy's gone around with his steam mop. And I must admit, it does look particularly good. <laughs> Anyway, photo shoots aren't the norm, hardly ever do them, but this week there is one. It's fine now, 5 pm. Now I've been working now on a painting for a client, only a small one, but this is it, freshly finished. Really, really enjoy doing this one. Right, so here we are, and it is Wednesday, just after lunch. Now, we always do a slightly later stint on a Wednesday because it's the day we do the live streams. So uh, yeah, an awful lot to fit in today because we've got the prep to do for the live stream, of which we're doing a Q and A today in front of the whole wide world, which is always great fun. So we've got a lot of logistics to sort out. The, the guy who was going to photograph us yesterday, he didn't come. So we've rearranged it for today, plus live stream prep, plus we've had all the steel delivered. Plus, I've got to date a couple of clients, plus I've got emails to write, plus, plus, oh, an absolutely terrifying amount of work to do. But it's all going to start off with a chocchino for me and AD. And uh, yes, please, yes, and sugar. So uh, I think we'll have a quick brew and, and crack on with the day. Rocket launcher. We've got a box full of those, haven't we? Well, they've got an assorted sort of stuff anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Right, guys, so we've got our friend Russell in, the photographer, who's uh, busy just setting all his kit up. So let's have a, have a look. I never really quite figured out how involved all this was and how much kit you need uh, to take proper professional photographs. But if we have a little look around here, well, we're setting up shot with, uh, with lighting. It's all very exciting. And uh, this gigantic thing over here. So uh, it really is coming on a, uh, in leaps and bounds now, guys. So hopefully, we'll be able to show you what those photos look like at some point. Keep an eye on the media, we'll let you know when it hits.
This is my performing seal routine. Oh, oh, right. I've oh, got one for you then. Right, Beastie Boys on stage, do one of them. I bet you don't even know what that is, do you? No, 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 no. He jumps up, his arms right backwards, his legs back almost touching. <laughs> right, try that. Yeah. Oh, my, oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> oh my god, my poor old knees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. I'll count you on three, two, one. <laughs> Silver Surfer. Yeah. Oh, Silver Surfer. Yeah. Go <laughs> <Good> small, <though. laughs> I'm 51, this is as low as I get. <laughs> For the record, mate, he made me do this. Yeah. <laughs> right. This Don't wasn't my film. idea. Don't be filmed. I know it is. <laughs> you can't walk in by cross, though. Like the kid in assembly on the kid here. Yeah. Kid in assembly. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> That is the photography done. I think you might, you might see on some of the images that that, that, was, um, that was really quite fun, actually. I don't think I've ever done one like that. I'm not quite sure when we're going to get the photos back to see what they look like because um, we're just going to use them for another publication. But at some point, we'll have those. I guess we'll post some up. But they look amazing. He's done such a great job. That's the first time. I don't, I've only done one or two over the years. But that's the most enjoyable one I've done. I'm great fun with that. And then Aidy came up with the idea about you know sitting like Buddha. And against the backdrop of the giant circular one, it just looks absolutely, well, I think it looks amazing. We've had a look on the viewfinder and they look fantastic. So that is now the photo shoot done, <laughs> thankfully. So with, with uh, like two and a half hours left to go, we've got about five hours worth of work to do to get ready for the live stream. So we've finished one bit of work uh, and now we've got to get on with the rest of it. Stop building weird and wonderful things. So look everyone, we've figured out how to do green screen ready for tonight's broadcast, which is literally the first time ever we've been able to do that. I think there's something stood in front of the, oh no, look. So this is what we're setting up for tonight. So tonight is a live Q and A. Uh, so we've got the big screen on, ready for me to try and focus on all the questions that are gonna be asked. And that's linked to the laptop, we've got corner camera, which we, as you can see, with AD posing there. Man's on fire. There we go. Oh, it's hot in here. Okay, so we finally. <laughs> That's quite funny. Oh, no, his face has disappeared. Right, guys. Well, as you can see from behind me, we've just done. Uh, an hour and 46 minutes of live streaming across the internet and it was our Q&A which we haven't done for about 10 months. Massive success, we've asked so many questions by so many people which has been a real success but now uh, it's about quarter to 10 so we've got to do all the tidying up and then drive home and all this. It's a pretty late day yeah, but a really successful one but I guess that's the kind of level of effort that we decide to put in because that's what we choose to do. So that's it, I think, for one day, guys. Oh, finally, time to go home. Right, it's now Friday morning. <laughs> We've made it through the week. We've got a lot to do today, including assembling some paintings ready to go out to our clients. We're gonna show you what that's all about. Plus, we're gonna be using the steel poles, hopefully, to make our enclosure. So I think it's probably about time that we get on with things. Go and get the 
aluminium backing panels for the 700mm paintings. There's a guy on the estate who's cutting all our aluminium panels for us, so that's where we're going to go and pick them up. It's cold. It's very cold. Oh, and look what colour is the sky today. It's grey. What was the sky yesterday? Grey. I'm a poet and I don't know it. Nice to see you've got your calendar there, John. Yeah, it's very good, thank you. Yeah. Hey! I've done all the whole lot yet. Oh, this wicked. One, it's a tiny bit short because I had to trim a bit off. Five millimetres off? How yeah. very dare you? Nice and oh, look at that. Right, well, we've got them. We, we just couldn't carry them and film them all at the same time. So we've got everything we need. Actually, there's a couple here for other client commissions, including a long one. Uh, but for now, we just need the two 700s. Uh, so that's what we're going to carry on with next. Applying now the contact adhesive and trust me when we're marrying the two together we've got one chance to get this right by as the name would suggest contact adhesive as soon as the two surfaces go together that's it So now, after the aluminium has been uh, roughed down, and we do that so that the adhesive has got a surface to, well, adhere to. So Aidy is going to get some heat into it so the adhesive sticks better. I'm better than it going on a cold surface. Then we're going to do the same to the painting and get some heat into it on both surfaces. And we have just completed one, all barring putting the uh, wire across so the client can hang it. But it's done, it's in its frame, all the securing pins have been put in. Uh, we've checked all the corners. It is now signed. We're gonna have a proper reveal. I'll just show a little bit of it. There you go. But now we've gotta get some more glue on and assemble number two. That is the 700 mil paintings complete. So as you can see now, they've been packaged. I might add to within an inch of their life. So that's ready for dispatch and collection on Monday. Here we are at quarter to four on Friday. We're just embarking on uh, a bit of a rearrange. I say a bit of a rearrange. It's probably going to be quite a major one because we've got to pretty much empty all of this out to build uh, an enclosure to keep heat in. And it seems like, well, we've got a few hours now, so we might as well make a start. I think we'll do a time lapse and just see how much more mess we can make. Six o'clock on Friday. What time is it? Is it home time, mate? Home time. It's home time. Look, that's a week in the life of Suarez HQ. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Give us a subscribe if you're not subscribed already and make sure you hit the thumbs up button. This is pretty typical for a week here at Suarez HQ. And um, you know, we finished off now a, a very, very busy week with trying to relay everything. Well, as you can see, look behind me, there's still an awful lot to do and there's reasons why. On the next video, we're gonna show you why we've been doing all this and what we're gonna build in here. And that's the reason why we have been sorting everything out today. In fact, even as I walk through here, look, you can still see a mountain of stuff 
on the floor, so we've been having a, re a really big sort out. And it's about one degree in here, and I'm not kidding you. Thank you so much for watching the video. This is the first uh, we've done of life here and what we do and what it takes to, to do what we do here. So I really hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to tune in and look at the next one. And we're gonna be doing these every single week. I hope to be bringing you a lot more different things, especially when we're out on the road and we're visiting clients and all that kind of side of the business. So there's an awful lot of things to come. So guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next video. Perfect, there we go, all done.